Ew. Look how dusty this car is, man. This shit is so dusty. Yeah, I'm about to go uh, give it a proper wash in detail. Honestly, just ripped the front bumper off. I don't know, but I need to wash it right now. It's so, it's actually, it's actually terrible right now. Ew. Got him. Got him. It always starts up eventually. Even if it takes a lot of work and a lot of pain, it'll always start up. That's the thing with project cars. You know, you can't always expect them to work, but when they do work, it's a blessing. But that's why they're cheap as shit. You know, you buy the car for low and you endure the pain. Pain is free. Pain is temporary. But JDM is forever. All right, looks a little better, for sure. Dope. All this pain, a ton of wiggling around, I just realized that there's a cap. And you pull it off, and there's a bolt right here to undo it. Uh, it's probably general knowledge I just didn't know because I'm dumb. All right, man, finally got this out. Uh, we're all good. And I'm about to plug up the hole, but first, first I gotta wrap, I don't know if you guys see, but there's like a little wire right here. I plugged into the motor, obviously to power it, and I have to just wire it up so it doesn't rattle when I'm driving. So you scrap a little tape. Doesn't really matter what color, because no one's gonna check your trunk, doesn't matter. And then you just wrap it. Wrap it in there. Then you just hit everything back into place and uh, you got yourself a wiper to Boom, wiper deleted, except wait a minute, wait a minute. We got this, what the, f what is this? Oh my God, bro, what is that? What, why is it, why is it, why is there a thing right here? Hey guys, I just got it out. All it required was some good old, good old vice grips. I got some help from my, my local NorCal uh, rotary guys. And yeah, apparently that piece just, well obviously that piece just pulls out. Now I can finally, finally get the plug in. Yeah, I hope this one works. Oh, fuck, it's too big. F, dude. Never mind, guys, these plugs suck. I take it back. Don't buy from Amazon. Not sponsored. Never will be sponsored. A few moments later. Never mind, they fit. Uh, guys, buy from Amazon. This is great. Take it back, Amazon's great. This whole kit was like 10 bucks. I'll put the link in the description. Let's go. Oh my God. Okay, this looks way better. I thought that thing was gonna be protruding, but it's not. And it looks so much better, especially since my car's black, so this kind of blends in. I don't even know if I'm gonna get the thing like patched and welded because already like just look from a distance like, oh my God, it looks so much better without the, without the wiper, Jesus Christ. So way cleaner. 
All right, what should have been, what should have been like, um, probably like 10 minutes turned into like 30 because I'm dumb and I had to learn a lot of stuff. I, I've never deleted a windshield wiper, but like I said, you live and you learn every day. And now we gotta go test the car with the weight reduction and the clean look. Look at the clean look, it looks so clean. Oh my God, I hate it. Yo, honestly, this wiper did nothing for me. Even when it rained, it didn't even work well. So it doesn't even matter. I didn't say that guys but yeah you know to be honest a lot of people ask me what it costs to own this car and yeah I'm gonna go over a quick segment on I guess what it costs to own the car because honestly I'm gonna tell you guys right now a lot of people dream of buying an RX-7 and that is that is great however the costs are pretty pretty hefty um, as you guys know I bought this one beat up Man, it cost me a lot of money. A lot of money just, just to own. I picked it up for cheap, but that doesn't mean I get to drive it for cheap. It required a lot of work once I bought it. Uh, in fact, the second day I owned it, the hood latch broke on me and I had to go to a sake bomb to get all the stuff fixed. Turns out there's a lot more, there's more than just the hood latch that needed to be fixed. I had a massive boost leak. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my bushings were shot and the front the front sway bar end links were shot um, as well as i had just exhaust leaks it was just a lot of bad things in the car that just needed to be fixed or replaced which i did the ignition the ignition coils were bad as well wasn't firing well um so all these things cost money cost around four grand if i'd done it myself maybe like two but that's the thing is like they just keep costing money not only that but i spend around like I spent probably like $50 to $60 a week on gas and that's only driving it maybe like two or three times a week. Keep that in mind, if I were to drive, daily drive this every day to work or like wherever school, it would probably cost me around $100, $120 a month, or sorry, a week just to, just to, just to pay for gas and premix. So you're looking at a monthly cost in gas of at least $400 at the rate we're going at now with premium gas and everything. Uh, if you're on higher octane, I don't know how much that is, but it could be even more. I'm too not 91, however, so I'm just gonna speak from uh, for 91 petrol gas or uh, ethanol, whatever. 91 octane gas. So that alone in gas is already $400 a month if you were to daily drive it. On top of the just maintenance to keep it going, you have any boost leaks, anything in the twin turbo system that fails ultimately cause the twin turbo system to stop working or at least stop working efficiently and it will start acting all wonky. Solenoid goes bad, your whole system's fucked. A hose, a hose breaks, I don't know, vacuum leak, any of those things causes the twins to run like wonky and all weird and, and, and just not, not well. They won't run how they're supposed to. Uh, that's basically what's happening to me right now is I think I have a vacuum leak or something, a small one because they aren't boosting correctly. Um, it's supposed to be 10 pounds of boost on the primary turbo and then it switches over to 14 PSI in the secondary. Right now I'm hitting like 12, 12 PSI on the primary and like 15 on the secondary. So as you can see like it's not, I don't know, there's something with the wastegate issue but yeah, uh, you know, a kid left, a kid left uh, a note on my car the other day and he was like, he was like, hey text me, you know, I'm interested in buying the car and I was like, oh cool. You know, and I'll sell this car to someone that wants to pay for it. If someone offers me a good enough, like a good amount of money, I, t I told him I'd take 22K for it without the wheels. I put the old wheels on for $22,000. I'd sell him the RX-7. I said, you know what, that, like, just cause it's easy and like that's what I'd sell for, that's what it's worth to me. I'd sell for 22, he's like, huh, that's out of my price range. And I was like, oh man, like, you're gonna be a world of hurt, bud. <laughs> You're gonna be a world of pain. I mean, the kid, he was in high school still, like, he, you guys gotta understand that these cars aren't cheap. They can be cheap if you find like a shell or a bean one, but they will require work in the end, and they will cost a lot of money. 
I bought this car before the price spiked. This kid had no idea how much an RX-7 cost. He had no idea. I don't know if he even knew what was inside the car. He's never owned and that like, this is a thing like, if you guys want to start buying cars from the 90s, if you want to start buying these old cars, own a different car before from the 90s and kind of feel it out. I had already owned, um, I had a 240SX, I had an 89 240SX before I bought this. I also had a 2002 WRX, so not a 90s car, but it was pretty early on. Um, I had a 1994 Miata when I was in high school. I had all of these cars before I bought my RX-7. Should I have bought this or an FC? I probably should have bought an NA RX-7 first, an NC, or sorry, an FC, an FC. We're not talking about Miata, we're talking about RX-7s. I should have bought an FC Miata, which is the, prede which is the predecessor to this car. It is the generation before it's NA. They last a lot longer and they're a bit easier to work on because they don't have the complex uh, uh, twin turbocharger system. If you're gonna get into rotaries, I suggest doing that or a FB first. That way you can kind of understand how they work and you know the cost of them basically. Because the FC is basically an FD, but not really. But like in the sense that like they guzzle a ton of gas and stuff. So uh, if you want an FD, that's great. You can dream, but you know, I respect the guy who left the note on my car offering me the like, offering, like was interested in buying and didn't actually have even, a, I'm sure sure it didn't even, even have at least 15 K. Right. I'm cool with it. Cause I'm 23. I, I get it. You know, I, I have the dream too. I'm a dreamer as well. However, if you come up to someone that with a car like an RX-7 Super or whatever, and any of these old cars and you don't really know much, and you're offering like half of what it's worth, you know, I, I don't know how much he was having to offer, but he kind of said, oh, that's, out of, that's way out of my price range. And I was like, assuming he had under like probably 15. Man, if you come up to someone with like a really nice, I'm not gonna say my car's really nice, but if you go up to any other FD owner that's in their 30s or whatever, like I'm a pretty, I'm not gonna lie, out of most FD owners, I'd say I'm on the younger scale. If you go up to anyone over 30 that has a nice FD that's clean, that's worth, all those FDs are worth over 30 grand. I know all the guys in the rotary chat and the NorCal rotary chat that I'm in, all those guys are over 30. They have families, they have kids, all their, but all their RX-7s are really clean. They're really, really clean cars. They're all well worth over $30,000. They're all original, they're all clean title, they all have low miles and they're all well taken care of. They're not clapped out like mine. If you go up to them and offer them 15 grand for their car, they will, that, I guarantee you, I would be offended. If I was in the shoes, I would be offended that you would offer 15 grand for a clean title, super nice low miles RX-7. That is a laugh in the face, that is a slap in the face. Like that is just, it's it's outright like kind of, it's offensive. You know, when you own these like collector cars and someone offers you something like, like come on, you know? Like I understand you the kid was in high school, but man, that thing was, just, sorry I'm ranting, but you know, just prepare to have like, just kind of research the market first before you start throwing out offers on cars. If you guys want to buy RX-7s, do some research first. I can't give you guys all the information because I've only owned this car for around a year and a half, two years. But I can tell you what I know and I can tell you what the market value is right now. I can tell you right now for a clean title one, they're around, I don't know, I'd say anywhere from like, I don't know, like for a clean one, anywhere from like the lowest being like 20K to the highest being like 50K. The minimum you'd ever pay, be able to get a clean title one for, it's probably like 20K in this market. And that's assuming it needs work. It needs maybe an engine rebuild soon. It needs paint. It has some, it has some issues. It's gonna have issues. So you can find a solid one for 30, and then you find really min ones for like 40. But I'm just telling you guys right now, like that's what it costs. That's what it's gonna cost. I can't, I don't have power over the market. I don't have influence over the market. But yeah, that's what it's gonna cost. And with that, I hope that was some insight to you guys be, that are all interested in FDs or whatever 90s JDM car. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. And sub if you haven't already because it really, really helps out the channel. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Plenty money going around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. Smoky guys living fast wearing velvet. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis?